All right, so the math dealer here, and I'm going to have to make this video super fast because I only have five minutes. All right, so here we go. Simplifying square roots. Basically, we have an index. That's the little root sitting out there. The number out front is called the coefficient, little check mark, also called radical symbol, and the number inside is a radicand. What I'm going to focus on right now is basically the square roots. Okay, so here's what a square root looks like. For starters, make sure you kind of have an idea about what these perfect squares are. I listed them all for you. All right, and then, then I wrote the steps on how I'm going to simplify. All right, so first thing you're going to do is look for a large perfect square factor, the largest. So if I have the square root of 12, I say, okay, square root of 12. Square root of 12 is known to be 4 times 3. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 gets a pop out. Square root of, excuse me, the 3 is left inside the house. Okay. Fair enough. Yes, I know 6 times 2 is 12, but don't forget, the factor has to be one of these numbers. All right, now if I have a number sitting outside of my radical, also known as a coefficient, say, okay, no big deal. I'll look for the perfect, largest perfect square factor. 16 is actually the largest perfect square factor of this guy. 16 comes out as a 4. That becomes negative 12. 3 is left in the house. This 3 is left in the house, okay? Some of you might have been saying, wait a minute, wait a minute. I did 4 times 12. That's fine. Square root of 4 is 2. It pops out. The problem is, is that now i got to break down 12. And we know we already broke down 12, so we got to break it down. All right? So that pops out as a 2. And when it comes multiplied, it gets 4. And then again, 3 is left inside the house. Okay? So we have to make sure we break down um, the largest with the largest perfect square factor. All right? So... You can pause the video and try 80, okay, this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and jump right to it. Square root of 80. Square root of 80, largest perfect square factor of this is actually, um, we can try, let's go with 4. Let's act like we didn't know it was 16. So I said 4 times 20. Square root of 4 is 2, it jumps out. Well, 20 has a perfect square factor in it as well, so I'm going to have to do that, all right? I'm going to say, okay, square root of 20. Well, that's a 4 and a 5. Square root of 4 is 2. Pops out. Then you're left with a 5 inside. Okay? Over here, whenever you're adding or subtracting, that's going to follow these steps right here. Adding and subtracting, the radicands must be the same, which they are right here. Okay? So I have a negative square root of 5 plus a 3 square root of 5 makes a 2 square root of 5. Done. This guy right here, you might be saying, wait a minute. They're not the same, so I guess I can't do it. But actually, you can, because if it's not a, if they're not the same, we can make them the same sometimes. Square root of 4 times the square root of 6. Square root of 4 is 2. Bumps out, makes a 4. Over here, I have a negative 3 square root of 6. And lo and behold, that makes 1 square root of 6, which we usually we just write as a square root of 6. Okay? All right. Now, um, I hope that helps. If not, um, I have another video coming along that's going to deal with, uh, what's that? Oh, wait, multiplying square roots, okay? Oh, wait, I think I might have time. Look at this guy here, square root of 28, right? Square root of 28, even though square root of 28 is 4 times 7. Square root of 4 is 2, pops out, leaves you with 7, okay? If you get something like this, the square root of 3 times the square root of 27, you could actually multiply them together. Because you can multiply square roots. Remember, they do not need to be the same. Gives you 81. Well, the square root of 81 is just 9. So that comes out. Leave it alone. Right? Don't try to go back into it. You might be looking at 150. Remember, that's 25 times uh, 6. Square root of 25 is 5. It jumps out. Gives you 6. Okay? I know I went kind of fast, but stay tuned. I'm going to do this next in these problems down here in the next video. I know you can't wait.